My name's Kip, by the way. I don't know if you ever, I just probably started babbling. Okay, it's an unusual name. I know. Okay. Well, it's 3.30 in the afternoon, and you've been talking about Hawkeye, I know, all afternoon. Is there anything about this character that you find really interesting that people haven't talked to you about? Um. Is there an element that you find real fascinating? Probably the things that I found most fascinating are things that I'd be quite incapable of putting into words anyway, and I wouldn't even try to. Um, because, because in the end, it's impossible to single out details of the life or aspects of the life or moments in the kind of accelerated lifetime that we live during the course of the film. Um, the, ex the entire experience was, um, was in itself the thing that was most interesting to me, rather than any kind of given moment or any given thing about it. Um, I mean, I had ideas before I went in about what drew me towards him, what I liked about the idea of him, but those, those things you let go of pretty soon because, because when you're thinking in that way, you're still, you're still uh, at some distance from from the life of the character. And uh, at a certain point, you hope that you're going to kind of swap places. And if that does happen, if you're lucky and it does happen, you cease to think of them objectively in any way whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, and it's only now that I'm in a position where I'm a try attempting to try and um, describe how I felt or describe what happened. And in fact, it's probably all I mean, I'm just inventing it, really, because I don't know, <laughs> you know. When you watch the film, how do you feel about it? Are you as moved? I was... I'm not often able to see a film for the first time um, to see it. I mean, I'm not often able to just simply see it for what it is. And in the case of this film, I think I was able to see it for what it was, and, um, and, I, and I was taken by surprise before, almost before um, the story had begun to reveal itself. I think even by, during the opening, <laughs> I don't know why, but during the opening credits, um, when, and I hadn't seen any of the landscape shots that Michael uh, um, uh, used, uh, if you remember, you mm -hmm. know, over the title sequence. And it, from the moment I saw that landscape, I felt a tremendous sense of sadness, which stayed with me throughout the film. Mm -hmm. There's a great deal of that in this picture. The film is so wonderful on a lot of levels, the physicality of your role, um, the way you make these people, the whole situation of people becoming three-dimensional, you know, within their different um, mm -hmm. ethnic backgrounds and so forth, and the love story. Was the trust and communication between you and Madeline there from the beginning as it is with your characters? Hmm. Yeah. Yes, it was. Um, I mean, w when the three of us, Michael, myself, and Madeline, first met together um, in when we were, uh, the film was still, you know, in the pre-production stage, I think, um, though we knew very little about each other. I'd had a chance to spend quite a lot of time with Michael, but Madeline and I didn't, didn't know anything about each other. But you, I think you, one has a pretty good sense uh, at an early stage of whether or not you can work with someone, whether or not you want to work with someone. And, um, and that was there. Mm -hmm. Will this character remain with you for some time? Do you immerse yourself in a character to a point where they go home with you or elements of them stay with you? Well, I think the answer is probably yes, except that it's not something that I'd be able to judge anyway. I mean, in some respects, I probably have been altered, even if only in an infinitesimal way, by the experience of making that film, just as I have been by uh, every other film and every other experience. I mean, everything contributes, and this film must have contributed in some way, but I don't know how. I do know how, and you know, I know 
in terms, you know, in a practical sense, I know how my understanding of certain things has grown, but that's different. But uh, on a very personal level, I, I, I think it must have had some effect, yeah. Was it like playing cowboys and Indians? It would be for an American actor, you know, the ultimate fantasy. Well, I didn't dare think of it in that way while I was doing it, but uh, the mu that must have been a part of it, yeah, because uh, I mean, I, of course, I, I grew up with the same appetite for, you know, the legends as, um, as, any, other, as any other kid. Um, yeah. Like the movie, it's over before it started, but...